Warning, the following video may contain gratuitous and inappropriate diddling of crash test dummies. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what is going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming, bringing you another edition of the Crematorium. Here you will find short and to the point reviews on games that were such epic dumpster fires that I literally couldn't get through them to do a complete review. So without further ado, let's take a look at Rage Room, developed by Lockham Reality Inc. And while this is currently available on PC VR, it was released this February 5th, 2019 on PS VR. Rage Room is selling for an estimated retail price of $30. Of course, that depends on your region. Okay, so here we go. Rage Room is a simple game where you are placed in a real room with some crash test dummies and given an assortment of weapons to beat them mercilessly with. Delayed almost six months from its original release date with barely a word on why is never a good sign, so let's find out how it did. As always guys, if you like this video and not the game, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. Drunken Bar Fight proved that a super simple, rough around the edges game could still be fun in VR, as long as certain things were in place and the game fully embraced its dumbness. Rage Room unfortunately fails in both regards. Right off the hop, the game has only one mode unlocked, that of the hilariously titled Story Mode. Story Mode puts you in the same square room, while round after round, you are given a single weapon of either the melee or ranged variety to use on a stream of crash test dummies who are either standing or dumbly running across the room. Sometimes the games will mix things up by throwing in flying drones that basically hover over you and do nothing, or by giving the dummies weapons, which they basically don't use. You can die, or at least fail, but this only happens if you stroke out and don't move at all. Otherwise, dummies will literally run into you and hurt themselves. All this wouldn't matter nearly as much, though, if the combat was fun. But it's not. Hand tracking is not even close to one-to-one, -one, resulting in a floating feeling as weapons catch up to your movements. Hit detection is a joke, and most criminally, the reactions to your attacks result in unsatisfying reactions and poor and repetitive sound effects. For a game that highlights itself as a rage room designed around taking out aggression and making combat a playground of sorts, it forgot to make that fun. The lack of violence also removes any visceralness or over-the-top ridiculousness, making the whole escapade feel like a Fisher Price commercial. Crash test dummies literally trip over themselves as you relentlessly beat them on the ground just to make the round stop. I didn't even think that it was possible to make dual wielding chainsaws boring, but Rage Room did it. Matters are made even worse by a lack of full locomotion and some absolutely unintuitive control mapping making even click turning a pain. In addition, the game constantly insisted on making me short in game, resulting in me having to reset the camera height every single time I teleported. On the visual side of things, the game is decently sharp in the headset, but considering the bland character models and generic play space, they better be. At the end of the thankfully short story mode, you unlock free mode and frenzy mode, which is just more of the same horrible and boring gameplay, with the only real difference being that you now have more control over your weapon choice. Additionally, you can dress up your crash test dummies, but who cares when the gameplay is so boring and unrewarding. And that brings me to my final review. Rage Room doesn't look too bad going in, but the boring and anemic gameplay combined with shoddy tracking and hit detection just sucks the life out of this simple concept. At the end of the day, Rage Room commits the biggest sin of all, and that's that it's just not fun. Drunken Barfight understood that it was dumb and simple fun, and gave you the ability to just be over the top. Its controls weren't great either, but they didn't really get in the way of the ridiculousness or the fun either. Whereas Drunken Bar Fight asked for $10, here Rage Room wants an almost premium VR price of $30, leaving anyone who actually paid that in actual need of a Rage Room. Anyways guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd want to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. I will catch you guys on my next video.